Big Chuck of B family, how are you all doing on this wonderful day? So listen, I've talked about failing, uh, not doing drugs on this channel quite a few times, same with alcohol. When it comes to drugs, I'm talking about weed or even be careful some over-the-counter stuff because I can give you a pa uh, false negative. And the reason why I'm bringing this up right now on this channel is because I think some more information has to be put out about what happens after you fail a drug screen using your, or uh, having a CDL. You see a lot of these major companies now are going to switch into hair follicles and it has been proven that hair follicle testing goes back a lot farther than a regular uh, urine test. If you fail, a, uh, if you go into a company, uh, we'll just use Swift as a prime example because they are a major company that hires a lot of drivers every day. If you go into their company and you're looking, you know, start, you fill out that paperwork and you take a pre-employment drug screen and fail that drug test, well, not only is that going to go on your DAC report, but you've pretty much screwed yourself out of a job, out of your, out, out of your livelihood, even if you haven't even started driving yet. Pretty much what happens is you you get put on it gets put on your DAC report. Now a lot of these major companies check your DAC report and it is it stays on there it stays on there it supposedly stays on there for three years, but uh, failed drug screens still will show up. Um, for, it'll be on your life forever. It, it will ruin your CDL. Now I'm not saying that you're gonna oh uh, well what am I gonna do? I have to turn on my uh, my you know turn on my CDL no which you what you can still get a job but you got to be careful because there's a lot of shady trucking companies out there that will end up screwing you over but if you're going to come into this company hi don't even get into driving don't even start driving don't even get into trucking because this is a whole new industry all right that that is very heavily regulated now, I'm going to tell you what you do if you do fail a, a drug, uh, drug test. Um, first off, the only way to prevent failing a drug test is by not taking drugs in the first place. But if you have, uh, you know, if you're one of those guys that, that live in one of the states where Mary Jane is acceptable, uh, and you think, oh, well, I can smoke weed, all right. No. CDOs are still a f uh, federally regulated thing. Uh, it's still federal. It is not a state deal. It is federal. So, since weed is illegal federally, that means uh, it will be illegal on your CDL as well if you fail a drug, drug, drug screen. What you have to do is go to a, what's called a SAP, SAP program. Uh, this program can cost you a lot of money and a lot of time. Once you pass the SAP program, you get a little certificate that tells you, um, I have completed the SAP program, and then you go get your CDL back. However, even though you have passed this program, you've done it, you will not be hired by any major company whatsoever. You might be able to get hired by by some smaller company, uh, meaning you know some lo local guy or some local job uh, that check out your NPR report, but they do not check your DAC. But you're not going to be making the money that you thought you'd be making. Drugs are not good in this in this job whatsoever. In fact, it kind of amazes me how some of these people that I've seen, um, like I've seen a report where this guy was doing uh, heroin, he gets in a wreck, and then he had another job within a week because I guess it, 
they have people didn't check or they, they didn't find like it didn't show up within that week, whatever. He had another job and then he got another wreck. It amazes me how some of these companies get back into the, or some of these uh, drivers get back into the truck driver world after a failed drug screen. Drugs are not something that you should be bringing into the company. Alcohol, be very careful of that as well because if you're new to your CDL, you go out to have a drink with your friends after a long you know, month of being out or even a long week of work. Make sure you take an Uber or a Lyft or a taxi or somebody or have a designated driver to take you home, even if you've only had one or two beers. The reason being is because the CDL, uh, you can only blow a .04, not a .08, that's even in your own personal vehicle. So you blow over a .04, that is considered a DUI under your record and that will also eliminate you from joining any major company. So with that being said, my friends, I want you all to understand that the trucking, this trucking world is our way of life. We value how, we value everything about it as drivers, and this is what we do for a living. We do not bring drugs in the community. We do not want drugs in our trucking community. We believe that everything that we do is for our family. So always just just keep your keep your stuff straight keep everything in, in positive order because it, even if you're doing some hardcore drug that gets out of your system in three days you will be caught all right i don't care how long you've been doing it your day will come that you will be caught because random uas happen all the time plus if you did not know fun fact a driver can go into a dot check station um a way station and at the officer thinks that you're high on something you can actually get a UA right there um, and if you fail it well not only will you probably be arrested for DUI or DWI or, or whatever they have for for drugs or whatever but you will lose your CDL you will go to jail and you have lots of fines you'll never have another job in this industry again so if you're coming into this industry respect it Respect being a driver, respect yourself, and have fun, all right? Be courteous, be kind, and have fun as a driver. Do your job professionally, and you will go a long way to succeed. With that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Uh, give a like, share, maybe help me grow it. Uh, I've been stuck at my subscribers for a minute. I would love some more, uh, so I get more, you know, fun like more more reason to to build this uh, channel anymore. So y'all have a wonderful day. Big Trucker B out.